In this tech tip video, we'll talk about the front droop and ride height on the X12. And the X12 21 and 22, they use the same system for adjusting the front droop. And the ride height adjustment is made in the same way as on the previous X12 platforms as well, with shims that are added underneath the front suspension arm. I'm gonna take the wheels off here to demonstrate how you can adjust this. These wheels are already cut to size, so they are ready to race. But of course, the wheel tire diameter is going to have a, a direct influence on the ride height. So you have to adjust your ride height in relation to the tire size. So if, you, if you're going to rerun these tires, you're going to have to adjust the ride height afterwards um, because of the tire wear, because they get smaller every run. So the ride height shims here. They're added under the arm, as you've seen in the front suspension build. And you can fine tune the ride height in steps of 0.2 millimeters with the included ride height shims. And then you have the option to change the droop as well. I'm just gonna put the wheels on here to show you what ride height we have in the car. So we have difficult to see here under the front bumper but it's 3.4 millimeters in the front on both sides it's important that it's the same on both sides so keep that in mind when the tires wear as well and then how do we check the front droop you try to lift the front suspension off the ground until it reaches the, the end so what is your front droop? Your front droop is your ride height, which is 3.4. You then take the value of the suspension in its fully lifted up position. You slide the ride height gauge underneath, and it's 3.8. So your ride height is 3.4. When you pull the suspension up fully, it's 3.8. That means that you have a droop value of 0.4 millimeters. So the difference between the ride height and the fully lifted up suspension, that's your droop. So 0.4 millimeters is a good basic setting for most tracks. And we've felt that with a solid axle in the rear, um, car just works a bit better with less front droop. So it's more forgiving to drive doesn't roll around so much and it's just flatter and easier to control. If you lack front grip, if you lack steering and especially if you're racing on surfaces with um, lower grip, less bite for example and also if you're running a rear differential it can be beneficial to add front droop to the car. How do you add front droop to the car? The droop is adjusted by shims underneath the spring here So in this case, when I built this car, I installed a shim here underneath the spring, which adjusts the preload on the spring. So it's 0.2 millimeters of thickness. Then you can of course fine tune this with the included shims that come in the kit to adjust the droop in steps of 0.1 millimeter. So adding shims here or removing shims will adjust the droop. Adding shims will take away droop and removing shims will add droop to the front axle. I, I will usually set up the car with, within the range of 0.2 to 0.8 millimeters of droop. I will not use any less than that, but not any more. Um, more droop is preferable for low grip, bumpy tracks, especially if you run a ball diff in the rear. And less droop is preferable on higher grip, especially with a solid axle in the rear. And keep in mind that the droop has a direct influence on the right height and vice versa. So that's all that I had on front droop and right height.